welcome back to my channel and guys I have another finish finish number 11 of my diamond painting sash detox is this beautiful lady lunar pollen from Eva Kamayun I think that's I hope that's how you pronounce it from DIY moon shop and isn't she beautiful I love her, I love her, I love her. <laughs> Guys, this was the first DIY moon shop that I have worked on. Um, just some information, it was a 50 by 72 round drills. Uh, it's from the older collection. You can see that because with the newer ones there's a legend on the bottom. And this is just the older one. I've put some washi tape around it because um, the glue does go a little bit outside um, the actual drill field. So you need to put washi tape on it because otherwise you get this. Um, look, you see this? There's just all kinds of, well, fur and things of your vest and things like that that come up it so you really need to put washi tape on it um also one little detail that i didn't like is that the top layer of this one was really really thin and i like them to be a little bit thicker um those were the downside the the glue was really sticky the drill quality was perfect no complaints there i just really love the image the rendering is well fantastic it's really confetti heavy which means that you have a lot of color changes in a small area um i personally like that even in the background guys this part and this part you've got a lot of color changes okay about the image itself i was really surprised here in the bottom uh, that you barely see the distinction between her arm and the background. But then I took a look at the original artwork. I'll put a photo in here. And, <laughs> well, in the artwork it's exactly the same. So that's just the way that the art was made. Um, so I'm not <laughs> going to say anything about that. This was perfectly rendered. Uh, but that was just a little bit surprising. I thought the distinction between this part and this part would be bigger. But even in the original painting that isn't the case. So that's just me. And as I have explained before in the beginning, I thought that she was um, giving the finger. <clears throat> but she's not. It's, 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 it's this one. It's this one. Um, I really like the butterflies. I had ordered special treatments with this kit. Special treatments with DIY Moon Shop um, just means that you can order certain add-ons. They've got crystals, special ABs and special drills. Once again, this is one of the older uh, kits that I got. Right now they are including AB drills with all their kits. Um, but I don't have any of the newer kits. All the ones that I have were before they changed that. So they are, uh, well, just evolving and I think that's a good thing. Me and AB drills, well, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship. So for me, that's not really a problem. Um, I had ordered the special treatments for the butterflies. I'll show you. So the special treatments came in a bag like this, Lunar Pollen version 3. They've got multiple versions and you pay extra for these. In mine there was Snow, which is just a, a white AB and I was supposed to sprinkle that in her hair. I didn't. Then I had Electrics, they told me to sprinkle that in the background. I didn't do that either. <laughs> and then I had the third sapphire sprinkle on the blue butterflies. And that I did. And guys, well, let me know what you think about how I use them. 
Okay, what I did is I put them all within a certain color of blue that was closest to the uh, sapphire color, so a very distinct color of blue. I put them all together in a tray and mixed them up and put them back into the containers. Um, so I thought I would just use them around, but guys, it doesn't work that way because if you've got them in your tray, you're still going to pick them out when they're in your tray. So, uh, well, I don't really get that method. I just made sure that I had a little bit everywhere. I'll show you up close. Look, they're here and there. And then I put a little bit over here and a little bit in there. Oh, I need to put you up really... It's really difficult to show. Well, they're just a little bit throughout and they do sparkle more. Look, they just make little accents over there where you can see, look, when I do it like this. You see, they are in here and then over there. You can see them and even when you look like this, I think this one turned out really great. And, um, well guys, I'm not a big fan of having to do it myself. I just want someone to tell me, put them over there, put them over there. Yes, I'm lazy. But for me, that works best. I'm not, um, as you, if you followed my channel, you know that. I'm not one that enhances my diamond paintings. So, um, I really appreciate that they give you the options, but... It's not really for me. I found it really difficult. I like the way this turned out. Um, I don't think that I have special treatment of any of my other DIY moon shops. I'm quite sure I don't. Um, because they are extra and I have AB drills from my other kits. Uh, so I could always use those. Maybe I'll try it again with one of my other DIY moon shops, but I don't know yet. But, well, let me know what you think about her. Okay, guys, and also I asked our girls because this morning I said to them, yay, finish another one, what do you think? And uh, our eldest, Marie, oh, sorry for the glare, there's sunlight coming in. Well, I just put her over there. Okay, so Marie, she she said, I really don't like the background. So she didn't care for this. And she was the f fan of the eye. She really loved her eye. And Anik, our youngest, she said she didn't like the shoulder. Because she's like, no one has a gray shoulder. Well, okay, she has a point. She was like, okay, this should be more the same color as her face <laughs> and i said well but if you look at the entire picture does it make sense yes oh and she also didn't like the color of the nail polish and you know why because she said well it doesn't match with the butterflies <laughs> okay <laughs> point taken okay my personal favorite part her face, I, I, wow, she just speaks to me. I love her eyes, I love her mouth, I love her nose. I love the rendering. The size is perfect, 50 by 72. It's, it's big enough. I don't, I think it's the biggest size, I don't know. If not, I'll put it in the screen. Um, leftover drills. Well, I have more than enough, guys. I even have bags that I haven't used at all. And here you can see that this is the older kit because right now they come pre-bagged. So unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't have that luck. One thing though, I ran out of a color. I looked up which was closest to it and well, that I had in this stash because I don't keep my round drills, leftover drills, so, well, hmm, okay. Um, but I used another drill from the same uh, painting that was closest to it, and I only missed, I think, 
10 drills or something like that. And well, if you can see <laughs> in this painting, you can point me to, okay, you have put them over there and they weren't supposed to be there. I dare you. <laughs> so no, no problem at all. But I just always find it weird when you have a moment you're like, oh, I'm, I'm running out of a drill. It's really uncomfortable. But okay, it happens. Not a big thing. I, I can imagine that it's annoying if it's a lot, but it was just a little bit. So no worries. Right guys, so this is finish number 11 from my stash. One of my favorites. I'm a, I already anticipated that I would be a big fan of DIY Moonshop just because of the images that they have in their shop. This one was the one that I wanted to get most. This was the one that got me hooked on the images of DIY Moonshop. This is my kind of style that I love as art. Um, as opposed to, for instance, Josephine Wall. I like to do those diamond paintings, but that's not my uh, art preference. This is more my style. I absolutely love it. And the other ladies that I have from DIY Moonshop that are still waiting in my stash. Well, I can't wait to get to them. A lot of confetti in these uh, DIY Moonshop diamond paintings. Well, I'm a confetti fan, so for me that's just a plus. Um, it's 45 colors, I think, this one. Um, 45 or 48? Let me just try and see. 44... Well, I think it's 45 colors. That's enough. Um, and well, you get all the perfect detail. It's, and I can't wait to start on the other ones. They have to wait a little bit though. And um, I really do like the fact that they just keep evolving and um, well, bring out uh, newer versions all these are made to order guys so if you order from DIY Moonshop just know that it takes quite some time to get them and also the shipping because the, the, it's a family based company in the Philippines just know that shipping is pricey I would always recommend when you order from them just order more than one diamond painting and no I'm not trying to enable you but just well, so that um, if you divide the shipping costs over more diamond paintings, then it feels uh, better. <laughs> That's just my personal idea. Okay, guys, I'm going to enjoy this moment together with you because I'm going to fill in my stash journal later. I'll do another let's update my journal or something like that pretty soon right so number 11 number 42 she's getting a silver star because I just think that goes best with lunar pollen done okay only 41 to go guys <laughs> Right, well, this is it, the post review from Lunar Pollen. Let me know what you think, would you like to get her? I can definitely recommend her. I think she's absolutely stunning. All the product information is in the description below the video as usual. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. And guys, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.